Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ahabat tafillah Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh A question was asked from one of our fadala and this is a common question it's a question we've kind of dealt with on many occasions in one form or another but the reminder tanfal mu'minin it it benefits the believer and so a brother faced with he he wishes to marry uh, 20 years old has proposed to a woman that was he found that's pleasing to him and finds and she accepts from him however the guardian says that this will not work out will not accept his proposal because of his tribe because they are different tribes and he finds himself struggling to keep his iman strong what to do what to do in such a scenario and this is a very common scenario unfortunately because so many families are <clears throat> stuck on tradition and then the end result as the prophet sallallahu said that facade would spread so this young individual, which is very common, we find this a lot in Saudi Arabia as well, perhaps not as much, perhaps sometimes from tribalism and sometimes from uh, just the high mahar, you know, the dowry being so expensive. So with that being the case, many of the youth, they suffer. So they do so much muharramat. And in relation to this, I recall a student once and they were joking in Arabic about something and he mentioned going to the pharmacy <laughs> and Allah Musta'an. So anyway, it was a facade, it was a problem because I asked him, spoke to him in Arabic and then he told me and he said, everybody does this such and such activity here, what are you talking about? And I said, SubhanAllah, he said, this is a masiba, especially when it becomes so widespread that it's accepted. So... We know the facade that this is a very common scenario. We find this around the world. It's not just something unique in the West or to any group of people. But how do we deal with that? Well, as I <coughs> mentioned in personal communication, but this has a, 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 a greater implication. And so it's worth mentioning without, of course, mentioning individuals and their places of residence and things like this that this is such a common scenario and it's it's a big problem for so many in the ummah of muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam that we either make it very difficult a lot of it we make marriage very difficult for a lot of our youth we want to delay them until they finish their studies we want to make sure that their partner is of the suitable family that has immense wealth and status or you know they have to be the appropriate tribe there's a, a lot of reasons and it doesn't mean that we shouldn't screen for our marriages that's not what we're saying but what we're saying is putting extra difficult obstacles and then the facade that results from that much much facade and subhanallah the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam spoke about that he mentioned that exactly in a sound hadith so, with that being the case, some of the steps that an individual can take, obviously, if there is no chance, really, of marrying that woman, then you should break that off. It's very important that you no longer, you cease in communication with the sister. If it's a hopeless scenario, you must cease communication and you must move on. You must look, uh, since it sounds that you will have a family uh, the, you know, there's tribal things, then obviously, usually tribal families, traditional families, they have a lot more options than we do as reverts. 
so then they're able they have family you have mothers aunts grandmothers perhaps that can look for you sisters that can look to find suitable family or suitable uh, girls uh, for marriage uh, if there's an absence of that then you will need as I mentioned prior to one of the brothers who was in a similar situation that you may need to look at the lawful Islamic marriage sites the ones where the sisters are not wearing just hair pieces or no uh, no hijab at all but rather those in which the women are being modest and look for a woman who has the criterion that you're looking for uh, in beauty in status as all the, the four things the Prophet mentioned and he mentioned that the deen being the best of those qualities so it's it's very important to look, ask, talk to your local community, your local imams, in order to get yourself out of that drowning situation of sin. Because it's easy to say, just fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is the first and foremost, that is the, the best of advice. But we know the practicality for many is that they are already drowning in sin. They're already suffering tremendously because... They don't know how to escape and they're already immersed in certain sins due to the fact that they need to be married. So I would say that fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as much as you can. Make kathrata dua, make lots of supplication to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do everything possible to keep your way out of negative environments. And that means even your own negative, policing yourself. And I remember asking Sheikh. <clears throat> Sheikh Abdullah Mar'i, Hafizullah Ta'ala, one of our mashayikh in Yemen, about a situation about someone who's afflicted by pornography and this and that and the other. And then he mentioned <coughs> that, you know, the individual, because I think it was an individual who wanted to come do Talib al Ilm. He wanted to come to Yemen at that time and come to the camp. And the Sheikh said that should not, you know, stop him. He should still come. But as far as when he is alone, he should put all the protections on his computer. For example, making it so you can't see images and, you know, there's programs. And this was over, I don't know, 10 years ago or whenever, almost 10 years ago. And that, you know, talking about programs that you could put on your computer in order to uh, prevent from seeing, uh, you know, sinful images and things like this. So that you have to do and also if necessary to not be alone with the computer period plain and simple that you have to police yourself because you will be the only one who will really do that we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make the affairs of all of our all of the ummah that wishes to marry in the halal fashion may Allah azza wa jal make all the affairs easy for the people and protect us from the sins and the sins of ourselves and the and the evil of others was sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.